I'm scared. I skip to the end of books and spoil movies because of fear of the unknown. Fear is all around us, it suffocates us. We all feel fear in day-to-day -day life. We start the day off, we question how it's gonna go. We get to school, we question how it's gonna go. We go home, we question what just happened and we go to bed that night and we question the next. I personally feel fear before stepping on an aeroplane. I get that tight lump at the back of my throat and my stomach hits the floor and my mind throbs with questions. Will my seatbelt not work? Will we have unexpected turbulence? Will they run out of ham and cheese toasties? <laughs> this all stemmed from fear. I was eight years old and about to venture on the best holiday of my life. I step on the plane. Here we go. Everything was going fine. The air hostess were lovely. And the plane ride was really smooth. And then the pilot made an announcement in his dumb American accent. This is your pilot speaking. We have hit unexpected turbulence. There was that tight lump at the back of my throat. My stomach hit the floor, my mind throbbing with questions. Will we crash? Will we land and see? Will I die? I look over at my mum and she's smiling with that classic mum smile, the air hostess too, and I realised everyone else around me was confident and I needed to be too. So I put on a confidence mask. Don't worry, I'm not on about COVID-19. This is an invisible mask that you let take over your body the same way fear does. But this feeling won't weigh you down, it will rather lift you up. A famous saying is, fake it till you make it. I think this quote has never been more relevant because you fake confidence, the people around you believe it's real, and eventually it is. So I no longer want to be scared. I want the thrill and the mystery from books and movies. I want to feel free. So I wear my mask of pride and I invite you all to join me on my journey.